yo, my purple bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we finished up the special events by doing the Zorua and Zoroark events. In today's episode, we are actually going to be going around and making some final preparations before we head inside of the Pokemon League. Now, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some level ups. As you can see, Roran is 73, Floater 72, Darunia 73, Shades is 72, Zappy 73, and Fernia is 74, being our highest leveled Pokemon at this point. Now, we are going to be flying around and taking care of a couple things in a lot of locations. I've gotten a lot of tips from you guys, so I want to make sure we go ahead and do those before we go any further. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do is make our way to Lacunosa Town, because we actually need to run around a little bit and uh, find a TM. There are a few TMs that we need to find, because a lot of you guys gave me a lot of suggestions on the types of moves and TMs that we should teach to our Pokemon. So let's see if we can find them today. It's kind of exciting getting to explore one last time with our team, you know? This might be the last adventure we get to run around with everyone. Who knows? Let me go ahead and use a Repel then so we can make our way through here without any trouble. It shouldn't take us uh, too long to find this first one. At least I hope. I've only battled some of the trainers here in this area, so I'll see if I can actually skip the remaining ones. I've battled this one already. Let me go down this way. I know that you guys told me that it was south of Lacunosa Town, and it was near a little house, inside of a little house. So that's what I'm going to be looking for here. I know the house is somewhere around this area, and I think it is this way. Hey, what's up, guy with glasses? Yes, this is the house that will actually be holding the first move we are looking for so let's talk to this guy your quest for power has brought you here very well let me reward your passion with some absolutely outstanding moves they're the ultimate moves shall i teach them to your pokemon and we're gonna tell him yes well which pokemon should i teach and as you can see roran is the only pokemon that can learn this move i should teach hydro cannon to roran right yeah so there we go guys roran learned hydro cannon and as you know, this is one of those crazy powerful moves like Blast Burn and Frenzy Plant. It's those types of moves that can only be taught to a fully evolved starter. And I also believe that you guys told me they have to have the highest level of happiness. So it looks like Roran is kind of happy with what we've been doing. And that makes me very happy. Next up, we are going to make our way back to... Nimbasa City because we actually need to go in search of a TM that has been eluding us for quite a while Now we've been to Relic Castle quite a bit. It's probably one of the areas we have explored the most So I know it pretty well by now. We just need to go there and actually look for the TM Earthquake You know that uh, one of our Pokemon already knows it which is Shades But we're actually gonna try and teach it to two other of our Pokemon from the suggestions you guys gave me. I can't emphasize enough. Thank you guys so much for all your suggestions. As you know, this is our team, and I wouldn't be even this far in the game if it wasn't for you guys. That's why it's always really great getting to build a team with you, and then, you know, getting to teach it certain moves and just working together to reach that highest point. And we're almost there, guys. It's crazy to believe that right after this, we will be ready to take on the Elite or leading to the real champion of the Unova region. It makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm also quite excited. All right, let's keep on going. Hope you guys are enjoying your week. Uh, today is Wednesday, and it's kind of nice and relaxing. I'm actually at my parents' house. I haven't been here in about ooh, a year because uh, I, you know, I live uh, alone uh, when I go to college and everything, so I don't really get to see my parents or my family a lot. Uh, it's pretty cool coming back because I get to see like my little sisters and it's just it's a nice experience being back home for a little bit Plus you get to eat delicious food and you don't have to eat nasty food all the time like I would be doing back at university All right. Oh, no already. Okay, so it seems like I'm already falling down this hole I forgot don't run on the quicksand tip number one do not run on the quicksand you think I would learn it after a hundred times of going through this place Twice, but yeah, yeah, I completely forgot you can't run through the quicksand in this because you end up falling through All right, let's go down this staircase then And see if we can find our way all the way to the bottom, which is where this TM is We're actually going all the way down to where we found the sage around that area So let's see if we can do this. I do remember where I'm going I like to think I believe it's down this hole and we'll see if we can keep going You know what I've, I've realized, you know coming here and visiting my family you gotta be really thankful of everything you have, you know, because you, you come back to, like, your hometown once in a while, and you're just like, 
you know, it, it makes you realize how much you've grown as a person after so long, especially for me. Uh, I am going into my senior year of college now. I just passed my junior year, and it really makes you think like, whoa, you know, I can't believe it's been that long since I, you know, graduated high school. And it's like, it's crazy to think how far you've come, and it just makes me really thankful for everything I have in my life. And I know it's, you know, something that I couldn't have done without you guys as well. You have been a part of my growing experience. And I'm just so thankful to have, you know, friends like you guys around. And it's just, it's, it's makes me really, really thankful of everything I have in my life. Okay, so as you can see, we are down here in the pillars. And we have to go all the way to the left in order to find where this next TM is. Now, let's see if I'm heading the right way. This place is kind of a maze. And yes, this is definitely going in the right direction. It, as you can see, it was a little bit different than the last time we went to the Sage. It's all the way to the left if you want to find this TM. And then you have to go up all these stairs. So that's it's kind of weird. I don't think I would have found this on my own. I really didn't expect it to be hidden all the way here. But that it's kind of cool. I like it. I, I love exploring areas even when you least expect it. Like right when you think a certain area is done in the game, it always comes back. And it's like, hey... Not done yet. We still have some more stuff to do. All right, so there we go. We got TM26 Earthquake. Fantastic. And now we are going to go ahead and teach this TM to two of our Pokemon. So let me go ahead and find it in here. Earthquake, come here, Earthquake. Where are you at? I know you're hiding in here somewhere. And Earthquake, am I missing it? Am I not reading well right now? There it is. So TM26 Earthquake. And we are going to go ahead and teach this TM to Darunia. So let's see what moves we can forget. We're going to replace uh, a move for Darunia. We're actually going to forget uh, Overheat for Darunia. And then we are going to go ahead and learn Earthquake. So there we go. And then we are also going to be teaching it to one more Pokemon of ours. So let me go ahead and do this as well. And we're going to be teaching it to Fernia as well. Because I believe it will be a very good move for Fernia to have. As you can see, False Swipe is gone now. Because Fernia learned Giga Impact upon leveling... Uh, to level 74 so now I'm actually gonna go ahead and get rid of guillotine We don't use it that much so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it now You know you guys told me you can only use it on Pokemon who are lower level than you and you know That's not really gonna help too much considering uh, most of the Pokemon we're gonna face are gonna be higher level than us All right, let's go ahead and dig out of here Then we still have a couple more TMs to find and you know, hopefully we can find them next up We are actually gonna be making our way back to Lacunosa Town because we are going to be going back into the giant chasm chasm I, I don't know how you pronounce that chasm I'm gonna pronounce it giant chasm so let's go ahead and make our way to Lacunosa Town then we should be good to go there because we set up a lot of the you know uh, a lot of the little shortcuts which should help us out a lot so let's keep on going that way and hopefully I will not be needing strength fingers crossed everybody uh, look looks like we didn't have to use it there great Wait, wait, am I, am I lost? Yes, it's through here. I gotta, I gotta get more repels going. Uh, let me go ahead and just throw another one of those out so we can actually make our way through here. All right, let's keep on going now. We haven't been in the giant chasm since we struggled a lot with Kyrim. It was, it was a lot of struggling over here for this, for this thing. Let me see. Yes! Okay, cool. So it looks like our shortcuts are still gonna be down. As you can see, that rock was pushed in, and that was from last time we came here to catch Kyrim. Now, let's hope I can find where exactly this TM is. I can't believe I didn't find it last time. I guess I was just so worried about catching Kyrim that I really didn't think about there being a TM in here. Ah, oh, no, that is it. Are you kidding me right now? I'm pretty sure I just bumped out of it. Okay, I think I bumped out of it. So let me go ahead and make my way around then, because great. I guess I can't even ride a bicycle these days. What am I doing? I don't even know how to ride a bike. Oh, someone teach me. Someone teach me to ride a bicycle. I actually can ride a bicycle. Just just saying. Just a heads up to you guys. I actually can. No worries there. Took me a while to learn. I had training wheels probably till I was like 14, but I learned. All right, let me go ahead and pick this up too. We got to revive. But yeah, no joke. I had training wheels for a while. It, you know what? It, it's hard for some people to ride bicycles. You know, not everyone picks it up right on the, on the dot. And there we go, guys. We got TM13 Ice Beam. And now, you guys might have guessed, this TM we are actually going to be teaching to Roran. We do have Blizzard af uh, as of now, but we actually do want to teach Roran a different type of ice move. Because, as you guys remember, 
when we fought a bunch of Pokemon, Blizzard doesn't tend to hit that well. So I'm actually going to go ahead and teach Ice Beam to Roaring instead, which I know will come in a lot handier. So thanks to all you guys who actually told me to get Ice Beam. I've been meaning to do it, and there we go, guys. So now it looks like Roaring's got uh, himself a pretty nice moveset going, and there we go, guys. We learned Ice Beam. All right, let's make our way out of here then, because we actually are going in search of one more TM around here. We can't use that here? Really? Oh, but we can fly. How does that work? How can... That doesn't make sense. Okay, so apparently we can fly or something. All right, we're going to be going to Icarus City now, if I am correct. Or was... It? No, it's Mistralton City we are going up next where we're going to find this TM. All right, so let's go there. And I believe it's the right area to go to. If not, I'm just getting confused all over this map because it's such a huge area. I've had a great time exploring it, though. It's definitely been it's definitely been something special. Okay, this is where we have to go. Thank goodness it isn't raining here. Last time we were here, it was raining. It was pouring. I was falling all over these wooden stumps or wooden bridges. What are these? Who built these? Like, why would you build these things? Like, you think... I guess people just don't want to run through the grass. I'll, I'll give you credit on that one, good sir. All right, so let's go up here. I know we have to go past that old lady's house. You know, that nice old lady who let us in, gave us some of her soup. Oh, uh, wasn't she just a darling? Ah! Okay, there, so there's going to be a trainer here. Okay, okay, trainer. Oh, goodness. No, no, no. Do not follow me. Okay, so this trainer is going to be a little bit of trouble, it looks like. The TM is right there. I see it. I can feel it. And with that, we have found TM81 Excisor. And now we are going to be teaching that move to Fernia as well. So thanks to you guys for suggesting that one. I did not know where the heck this TM was. For the longest time, it was eluding me. So thank you guys so much to all you who told me where it was. I know it's definitely going to be helping us a lot during the Elite Four. So let me go ahead and teach it to Fernia. Oh, what move should I delete? Now here's where it's going to be tough. I don't know what move we should delete for it. Giga Impact does a lot of damage. I kind of want to keep it around just to try it. We have Earthquake. We have Swords Dance, which might actually be helping us a lot. And then we also have Outrage. Uh, but you know what? I'd rather have x Scizor than Giga Impact at this point. I feel like Swords Dance will definitely help us once it comes down to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, man. This is tough. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Giga Impact. Just because, you know, we can always relearn it if it comes down to it. But I would rather have a move that's going to be super effective uh, rather than not. Now, let's go ahead and fly back to Mistralton City. Because we are actually going to be going to the move uh, relearner. I've gone ahead and picked up a, a couple of heart scales. As you guys know, you can actually do that uh, near here too. You can get yourselves a couple heart scales by showing that lady... Pokemon that have the moves that she wants to see and I've already gone ahead and done that so let me see if I can talk to which one of these was the one with the heart scales is it you should a move be remembered yes this is definitely the girl which Pokemon and we are actually going to be teaching Darunia a couple moves here so let's go ahead and do this let's see mm, we are gonna learn oh look Darunia has a ton of moves it can learn oh good for you Darunia we have Flare Blitz here, which is a very strong move. So we're going to go ahead and teach Flare Blitz to Darunia. And we are going to go ahead and forget Fire Punch for it. As you can see, Flare Blitz is a lot stronger. And I know it's definitely going to do a lot more damage than Fire Punch. So it'll definitely be a very good move for us to have during the Elite Four. Now, we actually have one more move that I've been told to teach to Darunia. So let me go ahead and see if I can find it here. It's uh, one more move that I was told was very, very strong. And it should be down here somewhere. And it is actually super power. As you can see, it's really, really strong. And I'm actually going to go ahead and instead of Brick Break, we're going to be teaching Darunia super power. Since they are fighting type moves, which will definitely come in handy, you know, once we actually make our way inside of the Pokemon League. So with that, guys, it looks like our team is pretty much ready to go. And we've learned all the moves that I wanted to and you guys suggested. So thank you guys so much for those suggestions. It is time for us to make our way back to the Pokemon League once and for all. This is going to be very, very exciting because our team is ready. They are trained up. They are ready with their moves, ready to pack some punches. So in the next episode, guys, once and for all, we are going to be entering inside of the Pokemon League, challenging the Elite Four and making it to the champion.
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.